Say, 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 one, 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 one. One, 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 one. Two, 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 two. One, one, one. Don't even dancing, nigga. I'm back, nigga. I'm back, nigga. I'm back, nigga. I'm back. I, I can see right. Saucily and Leatherface <laughs> Podcast. See that bullshit? Yo. <laughs> Saucily, Leatherface Podcast, jump ball, let's go, who got it? I do. Trendsetter. Okay. Bad wedding. Cookie That's Snatcher. The they got diapers for that. Cookie Snatcher. Bread winner. I'm spending 14 every time I come in. Okay, that was only two. Uh, here I go. No, I got jump balls. Listen, we play ball sure. all the time. Sure. And some people get out of character sometimes. Okay. And, and, and I just want to talk about a lot of different things. I got a lot of different things in my mind. Go ahead. We got 12 minutes. Talk to me nice. Hey. What? <laughs> Shout out, JP. Holy matrimony. Is that this weekend if so? No, not this weekend. Okay, next weekend, maybe, whatever. Two weeks. Okay. How mad you gotta be to get out of character? And who better to answer this question than Pemberton? Listen, stop fucking saying my government on the fucking on the news. So how mad you gotta be? How mad you gotta be to get out of character? To not argue even with the person you were playing against, but to argue with your team. So yeah. much so it's a tie game. Yeah. It's a tie. So he always talking in code. Let me tell y'all what happened. So last Sunday, which I won't, not for me to tell I won't be there for a few weeks. I'm going to take a couple weeks off. So we've been playing with this group of people for about, what, six, eight months? A year? Close to a year? Right? It's one nigga. Constantly looking me off, bro. Right? The game flow different when I'm handling the ball. That's just facts. No cap. No grease. None of that shit. So this old nigga come up to court. Little old ass from the 92 dribble, power dribbling and nobody guarding, come up the court and he only looking this way to his left. Motherfucker, eight players on this side of the floor, it's me and him up top. I'm in my spot where I'm fucking lethal from. Fam, looking me off. He finally wanted to give me the ball after about 15 seconds. Don't fucking give me the ball, now I just throw it up. At this point, it's game point, 7-7, seven, seven. we done fought back to be in a position to win and he looked me off. The motherfucking killer of the team, he looked me off. Fuck it, you don't want to give me the ball, you don't need to win. Throw that shit air ball. Then I want to let him know how he been looking me off for the past six months. And he gonna say he didn't know. And I said, well damn, now you know. You didn't know because I was trying not to hurt your feelings, but everybody else in the gym know because I done voiced to them how you been looking me off. So it don't take much to upset the motherfucker, especially when he a killer and you don't allow him to kill. And this is why kids, drugs is not good because drugs will have residual effects when you get older and the thing. Because my colleague here forgot a whole story. One, well, finish it he, he, one, he's on the team with me, so he can't be the killer by the floor. That's moi. Y'all see what I do. Two, they don't. Y'all see what I you do. You don't record them. Check my brain. Second thing is, right, the play, it was 6'6". Six, six. He's old. He did a lot of whatever he did, recreational stuff when he was younger. We don't remember. It was 6'6", six, six and we fought back. Dodge said to me, I've been playing with Dodge for a long, a little while now. Dodge looked at me and did a light skin call. He said, mm-hmm. So I knew what that meant. Oh, I got on game. the check ball. On the check he ball. said, mm-hmm. I looked at this nigga. He said, I got game. You play ball, you know what that means. Hold on, I'm not a self- Before you finish your story, when I say that, what play. usually happens? Can I finish? When I, when, I, when I say, yo, my game, just fucking go to Can the sideline because I'm a win. Not anyway, he cut me off. He just like my girl. Sure. Always cut a nigga off. All I do is, you're right, baby, give her money. Anyway. I got my own money. So. So. <laughs> so, right, he says, mm-mm. I look at him. Right. My game. Or he got game, whatever, whatever. Right. So, I'm like, okay, I know what that's going to do. He want to shoot the two. Find no problem. The, on the back end, that's why context always matter, right? And don't do shit. Blah, 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 blah. I said yeah, that? yeah, no, no, no. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm projecting. Oh, you're projecting. Oh, you're projecting. Okay, I got it. Because you know, everybody is saying one side of the story, but the other side. Okay. So, so to his defense, 
to his defense, sure. to my guy's defense, I'll be sure. He probably do look dodge off a lot. However, on this particular play, we was trying to get JP open, and he actually was not open, so he gave Dodge the, the thing late, and Dodge got upset. Because Dodge, it wasn't just that one play, he took everything out. It's been months. And this is what I'm talking to a bigger issue. Ladies and gentlemen, try to vent. You're going to be like a gasket and pop out of nowhere and not be able to control yourself. Because that's why we got to talk about our feelings and be one with ourselves. This fucking guy right here with all this bullshit. Yo, this is bullshit. Hey, it's great. Hey, bullshit. USDA fucking boom. Can, can we be honest for a second? Just show me. Have you ever seen me go on? Quick answer is no, however. That, that's it. That's it. That ain't that up. <laughs> Game ball goes to who? Me, nigga. No? I'm just asking why. Why are you so defensive? The first game, I had two twos. Okay. We were losing. Stupid ass TJ taking all these dumb ass shots. I'm bringing our game up. They check the ball. Bucket. Check the ball. Bucket. Gino said, yo, get rebounds. You gotta take your back from the guy. I'm getting rebounds. I'm doing everything. God damn. I'm giving in a play defense. And you know what I block Steve shot right okay, here? Okay, game, listen, he can have the game ball. Fuck it. I ain't having this. So this is what happens. When he don't fucking get upset, when he get upset, he just start yelling. Rah, 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 rah. Like cats fucking. You heard cats fucking before and all that noise they make. That's him. So listen, back to the play, because I don't want you putting smut on my name. They had a play set up. Cool. How long do you allow that play to develop? 15 seconds. I'm looking to me. Way too long. <laughs> Way too fucking long. If I'm up here bro, by myself, we're playing with six-year-olds, bro. Listen, look, look, this NBA time. look what my finger is. That's my I'm white line boy. I do white lines. You is not a white tape boy. Right? You are not a white line a boy. So if I'm up there, that's that's where I'm. That's my home. Give me the ball there. Let me work. Let me work. They trying to set up a play that take 15 fucking minutes to set up for a one point, bro. Basket. We're playing with six year olds. I'm trying. I'm trying to win. I'm in there trying to cut I heads hope you off. Don't be petty. They in there with fuck giving up those flowers. You do. I wouldn't feel right if you ain't there. Oh well, don't feel right then. Then don't show up. I'm taking some time off. You don't need to My take mental off. is all over the place. No, you're good. I'll be fucking in the gym and can't yell. <laughs> Relax. And can't shoot in between games. He's a troll. We in a he fucking troll. It's basketball court. Fuck this Not gym. Not a courtroom. Fuck this gym. It's about to be so I gotta get my body right anyway. You know, big body, big beach body. <laughs> big beach body and March, you already know, but yeah, that's what it was. Hey, and I'm gonna go back some more. Okay, go ahead. You said I speak code, but I got to, but I can't put I mean. Okay. Listen. When you going out uh -oh. with people. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yo, when you going out with people, yes. Tell me some of your pet peeves. Listen, can I say one thing before I get to that? Hey, Wells Fargo, y'all need to start getting these fucking sound checks before the game because this halftime concert series y'all got going is fucking trash. Hire him. We do consultations too. Y'all ain't got the, the artists ain't got no monitors in. They all off beat. They behind the beat or in front of it. Y'all got to get that together, bro. I've been I've been having fucking season tickets for a while. This concert series shit is fucking whack. Yo, so listen, I forgot. Buy your merch, bro. We so listen. Shit in the thing. Buy your merch. When when we go out. It, and I gotta be honest with you, if I'm not by myself, buy your fucking merch. So there, there are a couple different types of men in the world. There are alpha men, beta males, there's sigma male. I'm a sigma male. I can fucking move on my own through life and I'm happy. Could you please explain to, you, to the audience? Can I get what to the, it? Three different? Oh, the three different. So beta male, just a bitch. Bitch ass nigga. That's just that's this easiest way to describe it. Alpha male, he wants to be the top dog. He wants to be the 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 the, the I don't want to say the grindies, but he wants to be at the top of the totem pole in every situation he's in. Sigma male, we don't give a fuck because we already know the value that we bring, right? We're not alpha male, but we can be, but we're never beta male, right? Sigma male, I could fucking rock on my own or in a crowd of people, it don't matter. I'm him. So, when I go out with other niggas, I expect... Yeah, bro, I'm fucking getting that dirt off my shoulder. Here's what I... And I said this the other day, and please, if you're watching this, don't take this personal. I'm finding it, take it personal. less and less enjoyable to be around, to hang out with people who just ain't got it. 60K niggas? 
60k is good money. I'm not. You always shit on niggas. You always shit on niggas. Pay stuff. <laughs> Mr. Punch Down. Listen, I don't punch down ever. Just was telling my man I got seven down. That's that's a joke. You know I wasn't dead ass serious. And I said, okay. So what? So what I'm what, what I'm finding you gotta is start less and less enjoyable to hang out with niggas who gotta watch every dollar that they spend. So why? Because they fuck up the energy of the environment. So if I expect to go out, either two things are gonna happen. And here's the type of circles I run in, and I'm not bragging. So e either this happens, either one dude is taking care of everybody, or excuse me, Alpha, not Alpha. It's just when you begin to hang around motherfuckers who got it, they always want to just get the points. Very do do that shit all the time. They want to put everything on their car so they can get the points. Big ears, did you? Right. So. Either somebody takes care of everything, and then maybe on the side you break him off with whatever, or everybody pays the same amount so that there's no question at the end of the day. And for example, every Sunday we go to breakfast. I get a French toast, sausage. Big sausage, though. And a fucking Yo, apple hold juice. Let's, let's, let's talk about your plate. People, though. people. You get, Here he go he with get the, the He get the biggest no, sausage in the that. restaurant. He get a whole plate full of sausage. Go ahead, say no fork. Go ahead, say. <laughs> he just fucking like this. Jokes. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, he must be doing it for the gram. So, for instance, when we go to breakfast every Sunday, which I won't be there this week. Yo, don't be no fucking hoe. French I'll toast, sausage, apple juice. What y'all think that costs? About twelve dollar meal, right? Thirty fucking dollars for French toast, sausage, apple juice. I don't complain. What happens is, it's six motherfuckers at the table. Some of them niggas be ordering French toast, shrimp. Grilled shrimp, fried shrimp, butter, <laughs> fucking toast. That never hash comes. Brown. Toast that never comes. Listen, I don't complain. Bro, the toast never comes. It just is what it is. I'm never at the table like, yo, what do I get for my thirty dollars? Never happens. I understand the dynamics of when motherfuckers hang out in a group, and I would rather do it that way than any other way. So let me stop beating around the bush. We go out last week, about eight of us. Right, but then I call my Jersey boys. So eight turns into fifteen. Eight turns into fifteen. Eight turns into fifteen. My idea was everybody give up a hundred dollars. We get in the club for free. We get in the VIP section. Big VIP. Too. And we gonna get a bottle, at least one bottle. We could have got about three or four bottles. We could have got three bottles. Right? The problem with that was everybody was drinking something different. Bring us one bottle of Ciroc, Diddy Boys. You already know. We don't stand what you think. <laughs> right? And then everybody else was just drinking other shit. Shots, beers, mixed drinks. Jägermeister. So at the end of the day, I feel like because I got to connect at the club, people think the matrix walked off with our money. So that's what she did. They gave it to me. I gave it to her and said, yo, let us know how this spend. Let us know how this spend. I said, yo, we collect all the money, give it to the waitress and say, listen, let us know when this is about to run out. So instead of people enjoying themselves, what they do is they want to know what they get for the money that they gave. How about you just have a good time? But a question though, but that's a fair assessment. What like you, that's why you talk about it prior, right? We talked about it prior. Oh, it, we did, okay. You know we did. And as a matter of fact, the we, had, don't know that. we had a whole meeting the week before about what your $100 get you. It gets you in the club, it gets you VIP section, get you drinks until... Oh, he came to breakfast with us. He did come to breakfast. Oh, and we split the bill more. Listen, oh, he didn't order He didn't order anything, oh, right? Shit. So he didn't have to... That could have been a telltale sign, no? No, because he came in later. But this ain't about him. It's about when we go out with other people. See how you see, see this guy? You see how he be trying to redirect traffic? Spin that stuff. Not me. I can stay focused. So my thing is, 15 of us, we spent $1,500, right? That's with tip. That's with tip. $1,500. That's a big tip, huh? If it was $500, I don't all right, know so what it back was. to my question. You want to argue about it, but all I said was, all I said was, what is some of your pet peeves when you go out with people? That's it. When niggas act like when they ain't got no niggas. money. It's, it's like when but what do you do? No I, what do you mean, act like they ain't got no money? What they do? Is it like, yo, Dodge, you pay for the shop? Or like, when they get the bill, they start playing an accountant? Like, what? So, what I've been it? out with motherfuckers who, it take a little bit longer to earn money. And really, they got money, but there's the difference. People that have money, if right. you don't want to spend it, they want to live, munch off you. Oh, I don't know. I don't. If that's the case, then shame on them. If that, that's what the defense, they kept saying, he has a pocket full of money. They did keep saying it. So I don't know what, I, then I don't know. Then it's just weirdo shit at this point to me. Some of my turn-offs, yo, we talking about the fellas. We talking about yes. the guys going yes. out. 
when you worried about all that tough shit. Mm. I'm going out to the club mm. to have fun. Right. I don't want to be a tough guy. I want to go see some boobs. I want to see ass. I want to see chicks and thongs. No, I want to see ass. And I want to see bitches smiling. I want to see ass. All y'all motherfuckers out here hard, y'all think y'all dudes, that shit is whack. Yo, y'all be going to the clubs and y'all be dressing like bad bitch. Ice grilling niggas. And I come in here real sauced up. And, and my shit is long. I'm an extra slowing. But Pete, you see me. But listen, I don't, that's one of my pet peeves. I don't like going out with tough niggas. Now, it's a difference. It's a difference when you can hold your own. Sure. I feel like you don't have to brag about it. Definitely. You can just have that zest on you. Just be real. I ain't say zesty. Have that zest on you. Like real fresh type. That riz. And, and I hate when people also, and I say hate. I don't like that word, but I say okay. hate as well because I dislike when people try to get over on you. Okay. When the bill come, they get alligator arms. Sure. Or they make excuses or something like that. I don't play that. Or the most disrespectful thing is when a bill comes and people start being accountants. Right. What are you talking about, Eric? I hate when people want to calculate. They literally get the bill and will say, I had this, I had this, I had this. I've been doing big functions, going out with my friends, 15, 20, 25. Like every Floyd Mayweather fight, we used to have Dave and Busters on Smash mm -hmm. in Center City. Sure. You might have seen me and my team. Maybe. We had the whole front table booked. Nice. Every time. Right. And, and there ain't no money I was paying, right? Because money is not worth more than relationships. I had a relationship with the girl. I wasn't fucking her, no. We never but said I had, that. You real guilty. Nah, bitches be on here talking dumb shit. Oh, okay. So, I just, have, I just talked to her. So, she would put me down because she know that was a guarantee and she was getting a nice tip. Sure. But... So you didn't pay for the section? You no. Just, okay, you just took and care of her. had it on demand. Okay. Because that's what you got to do. You got to, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. That's sure. just the way of life. That's how it works. And if you're doing business, you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, right. then I might expand on it later on. But the point is, I always had those settings. I remember one time, we got the bill, and some dude, he wasn't really with the team, whatever. He was like, I got this. I said, bro, 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 bro. We don't do that. We don't do that. Just put your money up. Because how you going to get all this shit and taking money off and don't pay the tip? Sure. And then once I see that, I say, you know what? They ain't never coming with me no more. So I would say those are the biggest three things right. I dislike when I go out with people. Of course. And I won't go out with you no more. Okay, great. I'm not going to tell you what okay. I don't like and you like. I'm just, once I see you move, <clears throat> I bet you won't see me with him no more. So the thing about that is that's why I did it the way that I did it. And I'm not in the, I, I don't, I'm not in the... I'm not saying I'm not in a position to take advantage of motherfuckers with less. That's not who I am. So I felt like the easiest way to get through that evening was the way that I did it, regardless of what y'all think may have happened. Because I can guarantee you in that section, we had one, we had the landing, we had the two booths, that's four, we had five. We had six VIP sections, bro, for 15 niggas. And y'all, and, and it was $100 each. And you drank until you was tired of drinking. And that thing happened when the food bill came. People was like, oh, I ordered X, Y, and Z. And I hate to say this, but me and my man's like, yo, put our bill separately. Because I didn't want to be, a, a, I didn't want to be embarrassed by this situation that was going on on the other side of the booth, which was crazy because the food waitress was looking at me like, yo, Dodge, why, why are you doing this to me? Because I'm a regular there. It is what it is. I tell people, elevate your game. Sometimes you might have to spend a little one weekend just to experience some shit that might push you in a direction to actually want to get more. I would have never known about this type of shit if a motherfucker never fucking called me up and was like, yo, we doing this, and they and I'm like, how much? And they say, X, Y, and Z. And you know, back in the day, that shit used to hurt. I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I could do it. Once I did it, I wanted to do it more often, which pushed my fucking drive a little bit harder so that I could earn more, so that I could do that more often, so the cycle continues, and then what you do is you just start spiraling up. Niggas, spiral up instead of spiraling down. Fuck out of here, big money, nigga. Hey, yo, yo question. Land Rover, call me. I'm ready. Sorry, I was, I was tripping. Question. There's a truck, niggas. Oh, huh? My bad. What's, 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 what's better? Because you speak on something. <laughs> okay. I got a little bit of things to say. All right. You speak on What's better? The Ascension or, hmm. let's see, the turbulence. Or the struggle. Or the struggle. The turbulence. So the ascension or the coast? Because I feel like 
it's fair to say you're going to experience all three. So the coast is fun, but you can't coast forever, right? So for me, part of the excitement is the fucking ascension. Because I see the goal, and then I'm setting up all these little fucking victories on my way to the big goal. And then what happens is once I get there, I chill for a while, and then I move on to the next thing, right? I just had this conversation with my wife last night or the night before because I told her I was really proud of me, not you, because I don't really give a fuck about you. So I was telling my wife, see how niggas try to get it all into your fucking relationship? You want to edit that out? Which one me edit that out? Mm -hmm. that you don't care. No, that you don't care about me. Listen, I don't. I, if there, it's, it's niggas like you that want me to care about them, but I just don't. What up, so Floyd? Really what up, Floyd? Yeah, Floyd tell me he love me every week, every time he see me. I ain't reciprocated yet because for me that's a big statement. But anyway, I told my wife the other day I'm very proud of her to where she come from to where we are now and how we did it as a team. And uh, it's beautiful because she said to me, she said, you know I'm a, what did she say? She said, you know I'm a hustler or some shit. I've been with my wife a long time, so I kind of tune out and I apologize. However, she was saying some shit that made me be like, if I would've only known you when I was, you know what I mean? It would've been a whole different story, but it is what it is. Fucking continue to grind. Fuck what somebody else telling you. Don't allow anyone to step on your fucking dreams. Cause that's what niggas do when they see you rising and they not, they want to squash you. I never want to squash a nigga, pause. Yo, Mike, <laughs> get him, boy. Hey, give him some game. Give him some game. I don't have no, I wasn't even ready this, I'm not, I wasn't ready this week and I'll tell you why. I'm going through some shit at the job. I had to file an EEOC complaint against my company, which is very, it's very hard thing to do. Um, but it's been about 10 years that I've been going through some shit. And let me, let me drop this, not financial game, but uh, career advice. If you feel like something is happening where you're being discriminated against, uh, you're being gaslit, you're being targeted, blah, blah, blah. What I've learned in, over the last couple of days is that you have to report those incidents to EEOC within a 300 day span. And so here's what happened with me real quick, because I know y'all gotta go, I gotta go too. I've been having problems for 10 years. A couple things, motherfucker tried to fire me, say I was still in time. I don't understand how I still time. That didn't go through. Uh, then what happened was they had me traveling all over the place, uh, trying to make my work environment uh, so inhospitable that I would quit. That didn't happen. And then, not too many people know this, but about six months ago, I had complained to HR about all this shit, and they told me, literally, deal with it or take this severance. And when they did that to me, it just set a fire under my ass. So, I'm, so I got a couple people in my crosshairs, and I think that they're about to go down. So that's why I wasn't prepared today because I've been dealing with my work shit. Finally talked to the EEOC uh, in the state of New Jersey, and uh, I think things are looking up. So I might, I might be getting paid. Man. Who knows? I don't know how much. What? What's wrong with your hands? I don't know what's wrong. Is he having a season? Y'all let me know. Any of our uh, CNAs out there know what's going on here? Hey, free financial game for y'all. Listen, go ahead. Don't fucking play with your taxes. Stop thinking you slick, okay? Stop claiming other people's kids. Oh, wow. Stop doing miscellaneous deductions. Stop thinking you're getting over on the government. They're coming to get y'all. That's it. Just Come like on. all y'all motherfuckers that got their Stop PPP checks. PPP checks, I hope you put some away for your commissary. Yo, Sir Doc, what up? Big E, Big Philly, you already know what it is. Big Dodge, you know what time it is. Hey, I apologize. I know we was just mumbling today, but I know y'all love it because I see the numbers going up. Like, subscribe, comment, share, buy your fucking merch. Comment, buy the merch that we don't sell. Hey, tell me what hairstyle y'all want to see next. Big Sir Dodge. Hey, it don't matter. I'm doing what I want to do. My way. Like, I should. It's the ball head, man.